The markets for resources and commodities are often political. This means that in addition to economic considerations and business needs, politics also play a role, whether at the national or international level. This is why, more than ever, we need to get the facts around global trade and resources right, so that policymakers and businesses can make better decisions. Until now, there have been readily accessible data on the production and on the consumption of natural resources, but nowhere that you could explore the global trade in natural resources in one place. ResourceTrade.Earth provides a really powerful platform for searching and visualising the patterns of natural resource trade. We originally developed the database for our own analytical ends to underpin some of our research on natural resources. But in doing so, we quickly realised that this is a tool which could be of use uh, not only to other researchers, but also to civil society, to governments, to businesses and others that are interested in the implications of natural resource trade. The trade data on the website is from the United Nations Statistics Division's ComTrade database. And of their 5,300 records of all merchandise trade, we include about 1,300 records across all kinds of natural resources. So agriculture, forestry, fisheries, fossil fuels, metals and minerals, and pearls and gemstones. We hope ResourceTrade.Earth can be an important contribution to understanding the trade in natural resources and the implications for the environment and for the economy and for international relations. But it's only one piece of the puzzle. Many organisations are working on this topic and we hope to collaborate with them in future to come up with new kinds of solutions and strategies to tackle natural resource politics and to promote the sustainable production and consumption of natural resources.